you guys all right so we're back there's another video for you and this is the huawei snap 2 this is just released today uh it's on sale right now on pre-order on amazon and i think it officially releases on the 17th of april and today is april 9th at the recording of this video and today is the launch date for this device so you can pre-order this for 179 uh it's a really 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 nice looking device uh, it's got this nice leathery, faux leather, I should say, because it's not going to be real leather, but it feels just like a soft leather. It is really, really nice. If you were to get this in hand, I think you'd be really pleased with the feel of this device in your hand. It it feels really good. Uh, no getting around that. It, it is a good feeling device in the hand. It comes in at 5 inches at 720p, um, 294 for the techies. It comes in white and black, and the front will be black on both units, but the back will have a white, uh, white leathery feeling back. And uh, this is their, it comes with their Huawei uh, Emotion UI 2.3. Uh, but um, I'm running, I've been running, I've been using this obviously for a while, and I've, I'm running uh, Nova Launcher. Let's see here. I'll switch it back to Nova. I just wanted to get show you guys the the UI that it's actually running. It's running 2.3, um, but not too much techie stuff. I want to get into this. Uh, this is an LTE device from Huawei unlocked uh, for it says it supports LTE for T-Mobile and and AT and T, but uh, any any um, any prepaid carrier that has LTE in the U.S. this should work. Um, I don't I don't think it's limited to just T-Mobile because I've tested some prepaid cards and uh, it works really good there's you, you should be able to get LTE now whether you get the same the speeds and all that that depends on your character the, your, your carrier but um, there's some some features about this that Huawei does point out it's called ultra snapshot and the camera on here I, I gotta admit it's, it's a really nice camera but I'll get into the camera in a second uh, first I want to talk about this this screen um, so I, this is a, a live wallpaper so I'll change this wallpaper to something else here I can show you um, the different colors and where they come across on the screen here let me see if I can get I'll use this one this is actually a, um, a, a really vibrant screen I don't know how it comes across on camera but a 5 inch 720p display is a is a pretty nice mark to have because when you think about the the Mate 2 it has a 720p display and it has a really nice display as well uh, this display is a five inch display and the, the Mate 2 is a 6.1. So with this one being a little smaller, you get a higher pixel density and you get some really sharp colors and, and, and good viewing angles. It's really nice. Uh, you have to, this is kind of one of those devices you have to get it in hand and, and, and see for yourself. Uh, the screen is, is, is definitely acceptable for a five inch display and it competes right in hand with the Moto G and, and some other devices um, like the L90 and all those devices. It's, it's right in hand with those. It's, it's right in line with those. It's, it, you won't be disappointed with the display uh, because this, a techie might not want to buy this device and a techie meaning a person you're using a Nexus 6 right now you're just thinking you have to have the quad core XL T9. Yeah. This device Will, will sell exceptionally well because it's targeted at, a, at the right market. At 179 is the price for it. And the screen is just in line with every other screen that's in this, this bracket here. The body of the device, like I was explaining earlier, is a soft touch uh, leather. It's um, kind of, just think of a, a faux leather uh, device that you have or a wallet or something that's just not real leather. Uh, this is a soft version. It's, it's really nice, it's got lots of grip. You won't need a case uh, with this device. Uh, uh, it's just, it can take a beating. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's 150 grams. And it's really, really nice. Um, here's uh, something that this device does very well. It has a extremely loud speaker on the back. Uh, I mean loud. Let me pull up a website here. Let me get up my channel and uh, let's go to my channel and play the, my trailer. And the, uh, oh, I'm offline. Let's turn it on here. Sorry about that. We'll turn on some Wi Fi. And we'll play this trailer here. This, this speaker on the back is a loud speaker, really, really loud. And it's, Hard to believe some of the sound quality that you get out of here, but I'll play this. Oh, 
Kayak gitu soalnya And the speakers on the back here, so it's covered. That is a really, really nice speaker. Um, I was actually pretty impressed with the sound quality on this device for the time that I've been using it. Uh, it's uh, really loud for for when you compare it to other devices uh, around this this range here. Um, so let's jump to the camera, man. I was telling you how excited I was about the camera. The camera actually takes really decent pictures, man. It, it's got a really, really, um, let's grab the L90 here. This L90 has been taking a beating and it is still going. So let's go to the settings real quick here. It's kind of, um, the simplest or easiest settings you can possibly put into a phone uh, for this price range. So you won't see um, nearly as much as all the other high-end spec phones, but it's there. Some of the things are there, like touch to uh, touch to capture. And you can set the resolution here for your um, for your pictures, and it goes all the way down to uh, uh, 640, by, uh, 640 by 480. But there's the settings for the camera there. Video, you've got also got object tracking. And here's where I was talking about, um, you don't see, um, you see high quality, they label them like this HD, VGA, but then they give you the, the settings here. Uh, you can see exactly what the resolution would be. So it records in 720p, but again, just like the uh, 635, uh, this has a great video quality. To my surprise, I, I really wasn't expecting, um, uh, really, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't gonna expect too, too much out of this. Uh, but it has really, it takes really good pictures, and I don't think you'll be disappointed with this camera because if you, you got to think about what you're purchasing at the moment. So let's see here. Here's the settings. So you've got HDR mode, smart mode is where I leave it at, um, and you've got the uh, cheese. You got that too. You can actually put a watermark on there, audio uh, controls, everything, panorama. It's, it's really nice, but I, I leave it on smart mode uh, because I find that that's probably the best way for me to take a picture. And you see how fast the shutter is right there. It takes really good pictures. There we go. It takes really good pictures for what it is. Really, really, really nice pictures. Now I have the, you see me keep swiping up, I have the, the feature turned on to make the keys hide away. For the camera itself, video quality was pretty good um, for day-to-day -day use. It won't let you down if you're on Twitter and Instagram and all these, and even some, some quick photos with family members and stuff or objects. Obviously, in the light, it's going to be really, really good. And low lighting, uh, not so much, but it's still, it's acceptable. It's not, I mean, you're paying $179. Um, and so, you know, you're going to get what you pay for in a sense. But with this device, I would say you're getting just a tad bit more in the camera. Um, even though the L90 shoots in 1080p, I did some video, some video samples and some camera samples, and I, it was kind of just as good as the, and this is an 8 megapixel camera back there, uh, but uh, this camera on this device w didn't get slaughtered, I guess I'll say. Um, it's, it, it can hold its own, and it'll, 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 get, it'll get the job done for things that people use, because uh, I, I don't see, um, well, I, I see a range of people using this device. Uh, but primarily, I would think an adult will buy this for their teenager or just a young adult will have this who's on a budget, who wants LTE, who wants a five inch display, who wants these features in their device. And I think that's where it fares good. It, it does okay. Um, web browsing on here, as you saw, I don't see anything wrong with the web browser. Um, I couldn't think of uh, anything that it did not do because it runs Chrome. And it has their own browser on there too. Um, why companies are doing that, I don't know uh, at this point in the game, but I guess they have their own reasoning for it, you know, just in case you don't want to use Chrome, but we all know you can download every browser from the Android market. There's tons of them available, so. But the option is there, and that's the point of doing that. But web browsing is fine on here, man. I don't want to go too far into web browsing. There's nothing wrong with the web browser. It actually does really, really well. Drop test. Um, now here's why I did have an issue was the under the hood, I feel like this device would be really, really, would get a high ranking if 
it had two gigs of RAM. It has one gig of RAM, and that really shows when you try to work very hard on the device. Uh, now, the average user won't have a problem with one gig of RAM. Uh, it'll it'll be it'll be just fine. But if you're trying to really, really, really bang it hard, you're trying to hit it hard, you're gonna have an issue with one gig of RAM when you've got you're doing like five at a time, you know, so uh, or six, seven, eight things at a time. It'll start to um, make you feel like, oh man, I need another gig of RAM. Um, let me see if I have my game on. I don't have my game on this one. Ah, I don't have my game. I wanted to show you um, the uh, Marvels, but I don't have it on here. I don't know why I didn't put it on here, but. Nonetheless, gaming is flawless on here. Even though it has one gig of RAM, the multitasking is where you can see the one gig of RAM where you need more. But if you're in an application or you're just doing a couple of things that are not too intense, uh, don't try to game a big intensive game and then you want to switch back and forth while you're writing a full document. It's not going to happen. Um, it'll, it'll happen, but you'll, you'll have some time going back and forth. Uh, but um, Huawei's launcher is... Uh, the task managers just like that uh, but the processing power in here is a snapdragon 400 so it gets the job done it's just that the ram is one gig and I, it could at least had 1.5 gigs of ram or something that would have helped out a lot call quality on the the huawei snap 2 is great i use it over at&t and t-mobile and i have no problems there's absolutely nothing wrong with the call quality really solid uh, this does feature their emotion ui so you're getting the same thing from, from Huawei. Until there's an update to 3.0, I don't think you're going to see much difference in, in, in Huawei's UI. Uh, there's some good things. There's some things I don't like. Uh, but that's why you see me running Nova Launcher uh, pretty much all the time on most of my Android devices. On devices that the launcher needs some, some maturity, I always just put Nova Launcher on there. And that's not to say that the launcher is bad. It's just that um, I would prefer to have, um, I don't know, the, the launchers, the big rounded icons, I'm not so much a fan of that. So, but I'm pretty sure hopefully uh, this is a new device, so let's hope and pray that they bring 5.0 to it somewhere down the line. Um, now, the, here's where the device shined like a bright star, like the big brother of this device. Uh, it shined just like the Mate 2. This has a 2200 milliamp battery in here. Oh, let me tell you, this does take an SD card. Uh, it says 32 on paper, but I put a 64 in here and been using it with a 64, no issues. Um, uh, and there's supposed to be a dual SIM in the US. My unit is, is not a dual SIM. It's a single SIM, but the one for sale is a dual SIM LTE device for the US, which is just fantastic. Uh, but battery is where this thing really shined. Uh, let me get into the settings here and I, couldn't be happier with the battery. I can go a couple, several days, man. I'm, I can't even tell you. Right now, I'm on one, uh, just over a day, and uh, wow, it it's good. It's good. It's got the power saving mode. Um, you, I keep it on endurance, so you can see there. I'm getting at least three days easy. You can put it to smart. I found that if you if you might want to if you want to put it to normal. Uh, some of that sluggishness goes away from the, with the one gig of RAM. Uh, if you drop it down to normal, that doesn't mean you won't get a lot of battery life. Uh, it just means that somewhere in the tweaking of the software, putting it to smart or normal helps you uh, the performance of the device. But I keep mine on endurance, and I really don't have that many issues with it actually. Um, and I'm getting days of battery. I mean, this is just crazy. Uh, I'm at 76% right now. With 31 hours left, and I'm over a day already, uh, and this 2200 milliamp battery, wow, you, there's no going wrong with this battery. I can't stress it enough. Uh, the battery is really, really nice. So, uh, a rating on this device, um, the things I didn't really care for was the one gig of RAM. Uh, the UI is something I can't really call that a con, because as you can see, I can put what I want on there, so that's not really a con. It's kind of more of a preference. I like Huawei's UI, but I like it better on the Mate 2 for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, maybe because it's a bigger screen. I, I don't know. But I've run Nova Launch on here the entire time I've been using this device. I've been using this for a while, and it is a really solid device. 
some people out there who don't own the device, and, I, and I've been in the blogs already, and I just happened to stumble across, um, even though today's the, the announcement, I was online and I saw, some, uh, you know, these bloggers, I don't know how they do it, these companies, they get the information ahead of time, which is great for some people, it's great for me, I get to learn about it before it comes out, but people are already commenting on this device and they don't have it. That's the shocking part to me. They're, they're saying, oh, it's the, the Moto G is better. Uh, how does this compare to the Moto G? Well, there's a, just a rule that you have to throw out there. If you don't have it, there's no way you can say that it's bad. If you haven't used it and you haven't tested it, uh, you haven't had it for a month as your daily driver, there's no way you can say the device is bad. I'm here to tell you that I've, I've been using this device for a very long time, and uh, I mean daily, and yeah, it only has one gig of RAM, and that's a huge not a flaw, but it could hinder some uh, a hiring person, a hiring techie person who has these high expectations for the devices. That could make them a little upset. But the average user won't be able to tell the difference. Build quality on here, I've dropped this thing, uh, I don't know how many times. There's not a scratch on it, not a mark on it, no cracked screen, um, nothing. Now, I, did, I dropped it on a hard floor, uh, no concrete, because then you'd see scrapes if it was on concrete. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, hard four, I thought, oh, this thing's going to break. Nothing. Um, it's it's good. So uh, the back of the phone shows uh, fingerprints at times, obviously, because it's black. And you can see if you have some oily hands or something, it won't be too bad, but you will see them if you have oily hands. But um, the, the, the texture on this is one that I think a lot of people are going to like. Uh, it's nice, nice, soft full leather type deal. It's really nice. Speaker quality for music is really loud. When, you're, when I'm playing uh, things on YouTube, um, I have to play that trailer because um, you can't, everything's so copywritten. Uh, everything's copywritten, so you can't do it. But in real life, when you play MP3s on here, you'll be happy that the speaker is extremely loud. Uh, battery life again was great. Uh, overall features is where it's, you know, there's not really a lot there. And the RAM, um, it's good. It's a good phone. I'll give this device an 8.0. I think it's worth the $179. Uh, some might argue that because of the Moto G, but the Moto G, um, you, you, just, you just have to use this device. The Moto G has good battery. This this has great battery. This has more settings for, for a controller with a battery. Uh, the cameras are really nice on here. The size of the device is really nice. It's a little bigger than, than the norm. I mean, this is the L90, and you can see here some kind of comparison. The L90 is, uh, I think, a 4.5, um, and this is a 5. I don't know. It's, you can see it has a bigger screen. The body's bigger. Let's just kind of give you some idea of how big it is. If you have an L90 and you're considering, uh, and this is just the first phone that was by me. That's why I grabbed this one. Uh, but this is how big it is. So... It's, it's pretty nice. The feel of it is definitely better than the L90 in hand. Uh, this is definitely slippery and this is more textured, so it's good to go. So that is it. The Huawei Snap 2, my full review. I will see you guys in the next video. 8.0 for this one, guys. Take care. All right, you've never seen this before, but here are some things that I actually left out of the video. Let's take a look at the uh, UI up top here. This is a notification uh, section here. This is, this is a really cool notification section. Uh, it's got auto bright and it's got uh, the flashlight there, screenshot, uh, airplane mode. Auto. This is really nice. So uh, when you press that icon there, you can actually change out what you want up and above. And that's pretty cool, right? Uh, nothing spectacular about this, but the options are there. You can see here, I can get into settings from the top corner up here. I did find that kind of hard at times because I have big hands so I found that uh, sometimes hitting that um, was kind of a it was a little annoying but nothing to make you feel horrible about the device uh, but uh, you can see the time and date up there I think that's pretty cool uh, you can actually um, turn on turn on and off that navigation bar as you can see I can make the keys go away and you swipe up or I can just turn it off and they will stay locked down there I personally like to have it uh, unlocked. Uh, let's get into this real quick. See, it does have KitKat. Uh, but this is pretty nice. I've been using um, a different uh, keyboard as well. It does come with the stock keyboard. 
uh, which is fine. You know, it comes with the, the Google keyboard, just the, the default keyboard, but I put Swift key on here. Uh, I don't think I left out anything else. You can manage wraps and stuff like that. It's it's really nice. Uh, oh, the Do Not Disturb feature is really cool on here too. Um, I like phones that have a Do Not Disturb feature. You got the um, simple mode. You can do simple mode, which is really nice. This saves you battery as well. Uh, I think this is this is a nice mode to be in if you're somewhere and you, know, you just, just don't want to be bothered or overwhelmed. You can add things, you can take things away. Really, really nice. I think you just long press like that. And these are the ones that can come off of this screen. So I can change this and then add an application. And I can put my Chrome there because that's what I use. I don't need the gallery there, so I can change that. I can actually put a person there or something or just put something else there. I can put my Huawei support there just in case I need help from Huawei directly. Um, you got your dialer, your messaging, contacts, camera. All, you got the things up front, and I think this is really good that, that Huawei has this in place like this. You can actually add two more right there, or take those away, and uh, you get to all your applications. Really nice. You just go in here and go to your downloads. Pretty sweet, right? Here's everything in here. This is a nice way to use your device. In a simple mode, if, if you got small hands, there's no way you'll miss these huge icons. Nice, right? So you go back to standard home and there it is. So I'm going to switch my Nova launcher back on. But I wanted to go and do a little extra in the video to show you that uh, there are a lot of options here in the settings with the Huawei Snap 2. I really like this this deal here. It looks really clean. It's a, it's a clean setup here for the notification uh, section. You have all and you've got general, the main things that you would want to uh, use over here. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you the fonts. You can do normal, big, make it a little bit bigger. You can get it bigger. I need that. My eyes are not as young as they were. So there you have it. A little bonus uh, on the video here showing you the notification center and some more of the settings. Take care. Alright guys, I appreciate you joining me in another video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.